Shifting focus, the legacy war for Jayalalitha is back in Tamil Nadu. Sasikala is planning her comeback into politics. Chinnama is on her way to Jayalalitha's memorial at Marina Beach. It will be her first visit to the memorial after her release from prison. She also plans to visit party founder MGR's residence on October 17 and initiate a state tour to visit various party functionaries. Sasikala has sought police protection to complete her tour. The face of Tamil Nadu politics changed in 2016 when Jaya Lalitha passed away, putting OPS in the chief minister's chair. 24 days after Jaya's death, Sasikala was named the general secretary of AIADMK. On February 5th, OPS stepped down in support of Sasikala and just two days later, he declared an open war on Sasikala, triggering his expulsion from the party. In 2017, Sasikala was put behind bars in the disproportionate assets case. The party removed her from the general secretary's position. Then, all eyes have been on Sasikala this year since her release from prison and now her bid to make a comeback. Not at all. Not at all. I don't think anybody's uncomfortable. Everybody in a democracy is allowed to go to any place they want to go to. And uh, it's not, uh, it's nobody's, uh, nobody has a right to control somebody else's movement. And since she has been with uh, Madam Jailalita for 33 years, she has every right to go to the, and pay respects to Madam Jailalita. In terms of impact in AIDMK, I'm not sure if, if it will create any ripples or impact because the leadership and the senior leadership of the party, including former ministers, MLAs, everybody are with the two-leaf symbol, including myself. I think the two-leaf symbol is what guides us. And... Whoever is at the helm of the two lead symbol, I think the party will stand behind them. Right, so Sasikala currently is on her way to Marina Beach to pay her tributes at the memorial of uh, former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, J. Jayalalitha, who she was a very close aide of. My colleague Nolan is now joining me live on this story. Nolan, Sasikala is on her way to the memorial right now. This is, of course, being seen as her bid to make a comeback to active politics, though she had publicly stated that she was virtually retiring from politics after she was released from prison and it was anticipated that maybe she would possibly uh, throw her hat in the ring as far as the Tamil Nadu Assembly elections earlier this year were concerned. Um, we'll try and reconnect with my colleague Nolan, who is, of course, uh, joining us from Chennai. We will re-establish that line with him but uh, Sasikala on her way to the memorial of Jai Lalita. She has other programs planned tomorrow as well. And meanwhile, this is not the first time Sasikala's return has in fact created a buzz. Earlier this year, a series of allegedly leaked audio tapes hinted at the return of Sasikala. <laughs> எல்லாரையும் <laughs> Some of those leaked audio tapes, uh, Sasikala had in fact indicated to some of her supporters and followers that she is hoping to make a comeback into active politics after the pandemic subsided, even though she had publicly earlier declared that she didn't want to uh, enter politics in any way. She wanted to stay away from active politics. It appears now that she possibly has ambitions to return to active politics. That could make some functionaries within the AIDMK quite uncomfortable and apprehensive about this bid of for a comeback, which is being made by former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Jai Jalalitha's former close aide, Sasikala, who in fact served a prison term of four years in a disproportionate assets case and was released earlier from prison and then took a hiatus of bit today of course making her way to the Jai Lalita Memorial on Marina Beach in Chennai. She has other programs planned as well, paying her respects to the founder of the AIDMK MGR as well. This is ahead of the Golden Jubilee celebrations of the founding of the AIA. DMK, which is tomorrow.
There will be others like OPS and EPS who will also head to the Jaya Memorial. So it's going to be interesting to see these political developments in Tamil Nadu, which seem to have heated up in the AIA-DMK front.